A, all right, so a boat moves. So everybody look up here. A boat moves through the water with two forces acting on it. Shh. Two forces acting on the boat. One is a 2,000 Newton forward push. So let's get that on here. So here's our boat. So we have a force forward, F equals 2,000 Newtons. Uh, it's a push by the water on the propeller. That's, you know, that's kind of confusing. Uh, push by the water on the propeller. It's kind of like you know, the propeller pushes to the left, the water pushes back to the right. You know, basically, what, what's pushing the boat through the, wa through the water? The water itself, you know, propel the propeller is pushing on the water and the water pushes back. But long story short, um, we have a forward force of 2,000 newtons on the boat. Then it tells us the other force is an 1,800 newton resistive force, which is like a frictional force. So we have a backwards force, lowercase f, 1,800 newtons, like that. Now, are there vertical forces here? Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna matter in the problem, uh, but let's put them in here to be complete. What's the downward force on the boat? Mg. Mg, and then what's the upward force? Anybody know the name of a force if you're in water? If you're floating in water, what's that called? A bo that's a buoyant force. Which and there's a whole chapter on this, chapter nine. We're gonna look at buoyant forces. Okay, so free body diagrams done. So what you do next is you, here, let me make a little more room here. You sum the forces. So looking at our free body diagram, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, break, the, we're gonna break this into X and Y. Here's the sign convention, like this. All right, so summing forces in the X, we have two X forces. We have 2,000 Newtons to the right, so that's plus, and then minus 1,800, that's to the left. That's, that's why we made it negative, okay? By the way, what did we just do here? We summed the forces. What is the sum of the forces always equal to? M A, where that's an X acceleration. All right, guys, is this acceleration going to go to zero? No, because because it's I mean you can you can tell right here it's it's not because what's two thousand minus eighteen hundred? That's two hundred newtons. That two hundred newtons is the net force. Whenever you have a net force, you're going to have an acceleration. So that that acceleration does not go to zero. Okay, we're not going to need this, but let's just do it. This is not going to factor into the solution. But summing the forces in the y, we have buoyant force up and then mg down. Uh, that's the sum of the forces for the y direction. Sum of the forces equals ma, where that's a y acceleration. Is the boat going to accelerate vertically? No. no, the boat's not going to accelerate vertically, so this y acceleration goes to zero. So what do we know about the buoyant force? The buoyant force must be equal to the weight of the boat, right? The buoyant force and the weight of the boat have to be canceling. All right, so what does this question want? Let's see, A, what's the acceleration of the boat? So here's what you do. You take this X equation, solve it for A. A is going to be 200 newtons, right? Because 2,000 minus 1,800, that's 200. Divided by M, uh, do we have the mass of the boat? Yep, so 200 newtons divided by 1,000 kilograms, this comes out as 0 0.2 meter per second squared. That's the, that's the answer to the first question. Hey, where do, we get, where do we get meter per second squared here? Look at Newton over kilogram. That's what we have, right? Newton over kilogram. What's a Newton? Kilogram meter per second squared. Kilogram meter per second squared divided by kilogram. What happens to the kilograms? They cancel and you get meter per second squared. A newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. Okay, part B. So let me shrink this down. Okay, part B, what do they want? <clears throat> if it starts from rest, 
How far will the boat move in 10 seconds? All right, guys, what type of problem is this? It's a kinematic. So I would just use the first one. X equals 1 half AT squared plus V initial T. It says right here, if it starts from rest. So what's V initial? Zero. So X is 1 half. <clears throat> the acceleration is 0 0.2. And what do they say? 10 seconds. So that's going to be 100. That's going to be 20. 10 meters. Did I do that right? Yeah. 100 times 20. Yeah. Okay, part C. What will its velocity be at the end of 10 seconds? So that's another kinematic. VF equals V initial plus AT. V initial is 0. So V final, you're going to go A times T. So 0 0.2 meter per second squared times 10 seconds. This gives uh, 2 meter per second. 